Thanks. How's it, guys? Uh, maybe just one for Rusty. Um, you probably can't mention names, but uh, obviously there have been some newcomers who probably weren't part of the World Cup squad that you've been looking at. Just what are your, your broad impressions of, of the new guys and uh, how they fitted into the system? Yes, yeah, thanks Thanks for that one. Just to uh, quickly answer Mark. So, Mark, uh, it isn't uh, common knowledge already where those stage matches are going to be played. I can tell you they're going to be on Friday nights, not to clash with the British and Irish Lions. So, I think uh, it will be shortly when all the logistics are, are sorted out, uh, those stage match venues will be announced. But they won't clash because it will be on Friday nights. I hope that answered that one. And um, new players, um, yeah, I'll tell you, uh, um, it's a pretty man. Uh, you know, a guy like, and, and I probably can say, Say this: uh, a guy like Salman Murat was really doing well, and we were so excited about him. He unfortunately is touch and go now with an injury. Uh, um, you know, uh, there's there's a few. No, you know, guy like Notchi is not new, but Notchi was just putting his marker down there. So, without going into team selection, I can tell you. With us having the benefit now, and it's going to sound funny, and and probably uh, we probably going to be able to find a negative uh, piece of, of of what I'm going to say now. But we're in a way lucky that we have players represented all over the world currently, uh, um, just because of COVID and 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 what, how we are restricted in South Africa of having international rugby. You know, um, if you just think about our local players has gone through, they've just been playing against each other, and for no no other reason that uh, Jock has just mentioned why we couldn't go to rugby championships. The difference between us and Argentina uh, is that Argentina would actually have high performance environment back in Argentina. We could. So we've just been playing each other. And if we didn't have guys like, you know, coming through, uh, I'll mention him, a guy like Jasper Visser playing really well at Leicester. Uh, you know, these guys, and that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying these guys are in the mix, but because we had guys having exposure, it's again two players of ours in one the um, the European Cup, you know, uh, uh, Reinhardt and, and Cheslin. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of our players will be in the Premiership final. A lot of guys did really well in Japan. Uh, you know, uh, Damien is doing really well at, at 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 Munster in the Pro 14. So, and then again, our local boys here, there's certainly a few guys that, you know, uh, young guys that put up their hands. So, you know, the squad we will be announcing next week, uh, uh, Saturday, will be a squad of 45. Uh, again, you know, COVID might change it, you know, because then we're in a hard bubble and then it's a, a rock hard bubble with hard in and entry, and entry and exit um, uh, uh, systems. Uh, and, and yes, sometimes, you know, uh, it's tough to manage how big that squad should be. Uh, uh, um, but we are going to announce a squad who will both be the uh, SAA side, who will play the British and Irish Alliance A side. And the Springbok side uh, will be announced as a squad of one of 45 next week Saturday. And yes, there's definitely a few uh, young guns that uh, I'm not saying they're definitely going to make it. We're going to finalize it this week. But there's wonderful talent. And I think and I'm talking a lot on one question. But I think because we've got a lot of players overseas playing international rugby and locally now we've got just the local boys playing trials every weekend. You know, you just saw a lot of youngsters coming through and the old dogs on the other side are doing pretty well there as well. So I think it's looking pretty okay.